Listen, I don't think the enemy wants me to get this out, but we're going to get this out because I just, the second time I done started recording this thing and something keep happening, okay? But I got to get this out because it was, it's too good not to share. I'm at the library getting ready to leave. Um, I had a client today, you know, I had to take care of some business. But as I'm sitting there, the Lord began to deal with me. And I, this message, this is what I'm getting ready to say. It's for my nieces, it's for my nephews, it's for my greats, it's for my great greats, it's for my family, friends, friends, saints, saints, friends, whom, whomever this applies to. This is for y'all. On behalf of my father, on behalf of my siblings, on behalf of our dysfunctional family, y'all, we're sorry. Why are we sorry? Because what the Lord started to show me was that a lot of the decisions and a lot of the paths that many of my nieces and nephews and many of y'all had to take, it's not your fault that y'all had the path that y'all had. It didn't start with y'all. A lot of the things that you guys have had to fight, a lot of the things that you have had to war through and question and, and all of that, that wasn't your fight to fight. My mind went back to a post that I put up a while ago about how my dad, I, I was open about how my dad used to say that I was the one. I never understood what that meant until, I mean, I, I grasped that, yes, I'm going to be the one. Like, you know, I'm not taking no mess. I'm going to talk about it. Like, we're going, we're going to address some things. Like, I knew that. But God put it in even more perspective. And what he began to show me was that I am the one to not only do something different, but because of my placement in the bloodline, because I am um, the youngest out of all the children, because I am, um, I, I essentially grew up with my nieces and nephews and was around y'all and in a part of um, the upbringing that you guys experienced, I had, the Lord allowed me to have firsthand experience with what you all experienced. The scripture says that for we know all things work together for the good of them that love God and who are called according to his purpose. I recognize the purpose in that, the rejection, the abandonment, the dysfunction, the manipulation, the deceit, the lies, all of it, the mishandling, all of it that I experienced, the Lord showed me that that was a part of what you all have experienced. And so because of my placement in the bloodline, I had the authority, may not be able to speak on behalf of my siblings. You know, they may not agree with that and that's on them. But on behalf of my father, I came from his loin. He knew, I believe that he, that man knew that I would be the one to help bring healing to this family. You can't tell me he didn't know how dysfunctional things were. And that's not to say that how he handled things was correct. That's not to say how your, my siblings handled your upbringing was the right way because it was not. But what I can say and what I've learned and what I've gathered and what I want to encourage you all to do is to apply grace because what I, what the Lord showed me was that people can only love you in the capacity in which they were loved. They can only handle you in the capacity in which they were handled. And if they grew up mishandled, whether they want to admit it or not, and I know that they did because I did. We had the same daddy. I grew up that way and on, th on that side, not from my mom, but on that side. So they were only, they're only able to give y'all what they received. I even, people used to ask me, like, how come you're not upset about, you know, your dad? And how can you have peace in regards to like your father? Because I understand that he could only love me to the capacity in which he was loved. Let's have some context. My dad was old, old as dirt. Like, not even trying to be funny. Like, he, I'm, he was born during slavery times. That mentality, that slave mentality is embedded in our bloodline. Our last name, Snow, is because of the slave master. Wanted us to be reminded that we were part of slaves. And so when you have that perspective and have that, have that outlook, have that, 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 that um that revelation you're able to approach your healing journey from a pure place y'all the lord also showed me that not only 
Am I the one to help do something different and to help be different and to help impact lives? But y'all, my nieces and nephews, I'm not leaving y'all behind. I'm not. If I'm getting healed, so are y'all. But the authority that God has given me, if I'm on this journey to 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 make things right and to be a better a better uh, person and to be able to build my capacity to to be able to give my children something that they can actually learn from, gain from, and not have to heal from, if I gotta do that, y'all doing it too, and we're gonna do it together. We're gonna do it together, and this is the last thing I'm gonna leave with y'all that the Lord gave me. You know how we say we're going to move forward, we're going to move forward. God said, it's time that y'all heal forward. So what are we going to do? We're going to have heart conversations. We're going to talk about our upbringings. We're going to find creative ways to get what we need so that we can really be the best versions of ourselves and not respond out of trauma and not respond out of the dysfunction because it does nothing but perpetuate a cycle that we know is trash so my nieces and nephews i want y'all to know that i am here i am a resource i'm not just doing this as a part of my profession no y'all i'm called to this and i want y'all to be a part of the journey i ain't saying we gotta be the best friends i ain't saying we gotta talk all the time but when y'all are ready let's make it happen let's make it happen we may not always agree we may not always you know know how to Um, Because so many of us, we may not be able to all be in one room at the same time. Maybe one day we will be able to. But let me tell you this, whether we agree or agree to disagree, the one thing we're going to always have is is mutual respect. But we're we're also going to be in a place and be postured and positioned to have and talk about things that bothered us. Because your voices need to be heard. Just like my voice needed to be heard. And so I'm committed to ensure that we're able to heal forward. And I mean that with everything in me. I love y'all.